once upon a time, when we had time, we would do a thing called, hanging out at a spot. Maybe it was at a little intersection in Bumtown Nowhere. A corner you'd only notice if you dared take your eyes off of the dark road for a split second. This was the spot of the bums. Irrelevant to most, hell, inconspicuous to others. But to the bums it was special, they just didn't know it yet. For only they were well acquainted with the crack in the wall that might have looked like their teacher. An unwritten rule was to at least crack one joke at this likeness. Shut the fuck up. It was that eventful. Cars would pass by and so would the hours. But that was it. Nothing special ever happened. There was no, that one time. Or that other time. If you asked them then, they'd probably have some bullshit ready hiding beneath a flurry of curse wads. But it would just be that, pure bullshit. This is it was just right there they hung out and shot the shit. Or maybe there was a sprouting plant somewhere in the pavement. A green color they never took note of. Other, more knowledgeable people might have called it a common chickweed or a Guernsey fleabane or a Senecio vulgaris or a Capsella bursa pastoris or a Euphorbia peplus or something else and then move on and think, huh, that's cute. To the bums of the corner though, I'd like to think it was a flower. I'd like to think it added something to their life anyway. Or maybe they were walking home from school one day, going through all their inside jokes and reciting maddeningly epic stuff that happened that day, having a grand old time. With a little life in them that day, they decide to take a detour. A scenic route, a welcoming quietness struck both of them as their walk turned into a stroll. Taking it all in, they intuitively stop at one point. It's from this specific point or angle in the path that there looks to be a small opening just in the bushes, down, if you dangle trees, your head just trees, a wee bit down. An invitation. A few superficial scratches later and they are both presented to a little humble hill. It's very overgrown, very green, and very untouched, very unseen. They half arsedly both decide to race up the hill and both win. As they take their victory seat on the wet grass, they don't talk. They don't even try. Oh my god, they think, we have found a spot. Moments pass and eventually the words slowly come out again. On this spot they make up a convoluted handshake only they will remember. A cat comes by, which will soon become an honorary member of the Little Hill Club. Don't worry, they aren't that cringe, they never call themselves the Little Hill Club. They don't know it yet. But every week they'll visit this place until two disastrous events strike them. Winter, and one of the boys move. Or maybe it was on a rooftop. Being the two cheesy fucks you were. You lied there and fell silent. The rough roof felt like it penetrated through your hoodie and it's only going to get worse by time. As your eyes slowly adjust to the towering number of stars. You feel the sudden bigness of the universe beam down on you. You are so small. You are so puny. So insignificant so unimportant it's awesome without any build-up your mouth utters a confession to break to silence being the most cheesy fucker there has ever cheesed you hear yourself say it i think i'm in love with a girl you don't know it yet but it's definitely not love she was an asshole a complete black hole of energy joy and life but you look onto the stars as more and more stars seem to stop hiding the other guy tries to give his advice and begins to talk about taking action and what one might do in a situation like that. Thankfully, you don't listen to the advice. Because the girl you think you're in love is an asshole. A complete black hole of energy, joy and life. Ah well, I wish you didn't have to work out to become an astronaut. And also the math stuff. And also, I like being here. I like being here too. And then the years pass. And for
before you notice the flame is just gone. You catch yourself thinking, uh, when did we say goodbye? Because we just left. Um, I'm gonna, this is what the video is going, going to be about, just these corners and spots um, that I used to hang. I'm gonna make a video about these spots and when the time is gone, I'm not gonna be at those spots anymore, I think. I don't know. I thought it, this is true terminal farewell to those spots. I don't, uh, my notes are completely baffling to me. I've, yeah, let's get you into the mood. Oh my god, I was supposed to do this. Ay, 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 ay. And then you notice the flame is gone. And now, let's put you, us, into the mood again. then okay th this was not the song I listened to the most this was just you know a frame of mind back then you know this this was the year 2015 16 17 and this is what I did basically I listened to this I didn't have Spotify I didn't have SoundCloud I just had one folder on my desktop of like YouTube no copyright did music sounds dubstep and that's what I use my usually did I just open that put it on shuffle and listen to it and imagined all these beautiful ambitious uh, YouTube videos I could do like uh, one million subscriber channel anyway now that you're in my frame of mind I think uh, yeah I think we should definitely not play this anymore and uh, just you know drum roll please and if I could have you close your eyes for just a second until I say open them again open them now yes I'm a gamer so do you understand the title of this video now this is the surprise I know. Because this is why I called it that. Because TF2. Ah, <sighs> this is going well. This is going well. <laughs> yes, it it's a it's a game. We're gonna play a game today. That's it. <laughs> I, I can't remember. Oh, I even fucked this up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry about this. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Okay. No way. Yeah. <laughs>
one. Say swear. I'm going to be showing you how to get bitches. No one is in on the server, that's just what I expected, kind of. But like two days ago, there were two players at one point. Oh, I took a little screenshot, I, I didn't want to, like... As you, you can see... Let me introduce you to Team Fortress 2. If you've never put this game, you're lost. This is probably the most famous map type there is. It's an unwritten rule on these types of maps that you don't do the map objective. And the map objective is this. You capture points. This is what CP Orange stands for. Terrific stuff. Um, this whole thing, this whole, th I really thought it would help my speech if I drank, but it didn't. I feel like my voice just got way rough. It didn't help, and I feel woozy. This is not the first time I'm drunk, by the way, just so you know.
it is legal to capture your own uh, point but as you can see there are five points in general and what you will be fighting over is the middle one right there up here and what this essentially is is just the battlegrounds where everything happens and people kill each other oftentimes you'd see fights happening in here um i was among them uh i was one of the as i said usual suspects i think i've said this i spent maybe 300 hours on this map so you know this is what i spend my time doing really just playing this map and eventually i just stopped No way am I gonna disconnect. This this uh, makes the movie interesting, I think. I guess I'll do something else. Maybe I can... Uh... Oh! Pretty, I think at least, uh, popular game mode for Team Fortress 2. It's called CP Orange, and it's one of the most popular maps. It's just very chill, and it's very simply designed. There are some unwritten rules that will help you if this game ever uh, resurfaces. The unwritten rule is as follows, you don't capture, you don't cap at all, which means you don't go for the win, this map is purely made for having fun and killing each other, there's like no problem. a mix between the two, but this first, these first two points, you're given the first point for free, and this point uh, you can just capture whenever you want. The reason why is because the map resets when one of the per, uh, one of the teams either blue or red wins this is called the battle tower it isn't but it's just called it that in here most of the action will transpire and that's because there's a control point on top so there are many avenues to go here you can take the outside uh, walkway uh, but most of all, most people just walk in here and up the stairs and here you will likely find some people to shoot then you move up one bit and more people to shoot more health and then lastly we have the control point I have fucked up and I don't know if I said this I have said this but I'm redoing this um I have three uh, how, uh, I have 300 hours on this map and I know the ins and outs of this map and I'm just gonna show you the basics for a little bit. Um, it's very easy to learn and it's very easy to just do because there is a strong middle that is very very inviting. It's where the action happens and if you're a sniper you can just stand here and try to shoot people and that could be fun. This is the sniper's tower. So, you're a sniper, you spawn on the map, you can go along here, you try to get some free kills very easily, and this walkway here is also very nice to walk on, you can then shoot people. If you're getting teased from there, and you're here, you can jump up here to like, get an advantage, and you can move on. This is a variant of the CP Orange map. It's just wonderful. Uh, mostly noobs would go in here. It's like uh, don't mind the glitching. It's uh, and that's 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 the extent of it.
this was me most of the time. This was my loadout, this was how I looked, and this is what I played the most, the pyro. Doing a uh, W plus M1, which means... And what I typically do is, I fire them, push them, then hit them with that, um, which is basically doing crit damage. See, this is one of the spots I hang, I don't know, the very, very cool. Oh my god, I'm forgetting the point. This being a variant of all, you could go in here. Oh. <laughs> and here, with, here you could do all sorts of crazy stuff, but no, nothing happened. No one was in here. And as you can guess, nobody was in here. It was a very useless place. But I think you had an advantage if one of the guys was... One of the red snipers uh, kind of was a pain in the butt. As he scared of saying the word as. Oh my god. Look at this. Listen to this fucking uh, good guy. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. This is what I did. These hours um, before going to bed, I would be alone on the server and just have nothing to do. So I just run around and imagine, imagine I, uh, I was having epic duels <laughs> with the. Uh, you got own. I shouldn't have drank. Drank. I have no motivation or will. I never messed with this guy. I think I can get this one at least. Ah! This is where I usually go up here. I actually made it. Oh my god, I made it here. No wait just a goddamn minute. This isn't the Dune 2 um ah! uh, cinema experience. Ah! I'm gonna have to talk with the manager here. I thought Oh, wrong ticket. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Well, this was eventful. Hello, editor here. Um, I proceeded to waste 30 minutes doing this and I didn't think it was funny in the moment or now, So, uh, but I want it written down like on paper that this happened, so that I wasted time. I'm, I'm wasting our time, I'm sorry. Dude. I don't sorry. Last time I played this was apparently in 2020 and I don't remember that. I usually played this game in 2000. This. 2015, 16, 17. Those were the years I played. Not whatever this guy says right here. I didn't play in 2020. Like, at most, 2018. That's where I played like once or twice. Um, at Christmas or something with uh, one of the guys. I don't know. 
This this guy is lying. This is a lie. got interested in Team Fortress 2 uh, in the first place. I think it was just... It was very casual. Uh, it was a very casual shooter uh, in comparison to all the other uh, shooters who were cheap fucks. So I only had a laptop for a great uh, period of time. And Team Fortress 2 was one of the only games I could play, and um, you could be like a douchebag, competitive guy. Meaning, uh, you could try hard when you wanted to, and when other people tried try hard, it uh, they were assholes, not you. It was one of those games where you could like kind of just do your own thing, you know. If you didn't feel like shooting people, you could try out the other game modes, but even then, on the servers, most typically you could just kinda hang out and do your own thing, and so I have your own one hour of fun there, and then leave. So my skill as a player was, I wasn't, like, not even close to the best on any given server at all. I was decent, but it was not a sight to watch me play. Um, as I said before, I was a W plus M1 player, and that meant no brain and half aim, which isn't uh, good at all. 
but in 2015 and 16 and 17, the game was like, it was already half dead, you know, um, and that's why sometimes I was alone on the server, no one would join and it, it, it would just be me and I would just look at all these clip issues, that was my uh, night routine at like, school it wasn't that pretty and now the game is just even more dead so that's it oh my god I'm gonna interview someone it's gonna be so fucking fun then I it, I really realized no one plays this game I'm pretty sure and no one's gonna join and I, I think I'm right no one I don't think anyone is ever gonna join and I would never have the courage to like ask for the discord I, mean, like, I don't even have any questions I was just like we gonna just hang around and gonna ask questions you know see if he was a usual suspect on that uh, server as well but yeah that's this is not gonna happen you know back then my dream like not when I got the idea but when I played TF2 it was just, you know, I wish a lot of star and drama and it kind of made me think of like, the different kind of videos I could make. And I think that like, had a huge effect on how I wanted to yeah, make videos and later on how I approach video making in general and uh, the uh, phase where you generate the ideas. I've I really thought there was more I could do, but it's like I'm, I'm only making this because it sucks ass and I didn't have any other idea and I didn't want to be on camera. So instead, you have to do with my weak ass voice because drinking alcohol didn't help. It was always going to be like a uh, half, half, and I'm not to edit because. I don't, right now I don't know how to edit it. I figured there'd be a lot more moments where I'd do nothing and it wouldn't be usual at all, but I'm gonna highlight the lowlights and there are going, there are not gonna be any highlights. And that's what roughly makes a film, in my opinion. If you look at it roughly through this spe specific lens of video making, you know? It's still gonna be somewhat of a nightmare to edit. I don't know. Uh, like, I'm, I still have to remind myself, like, I'm making this video with no structure. So I can think about that next time, you know? And have this video have no, like, uh, it shouldn't have any uh, stupid stuff, you know? Stupid uh, arc of sorts. While we're on that, I really did think I was gonna talk more with like the alcohol, but that turned out to be not true. I haven't talked at all, and I don't want to talk. And also, my father is asleep. I don't want to be that. Uh, Look at this. This is so shit. <laughs> you know, I've been that for far too long, and I actually want to make this real great, but I can't add anything. At more footage. I remember I stood about here when um, I made I met two Danes on this server, and you know already then you'd become friends immediately. But I was a kid, and they were like in the twenties, I believe, or something like that. Maybe I'm like you know wilding out a bit there, but they were older than me, and I remember I looked. A lot. I, I looked up to them. I didn't have that many friends, so to me that was, you know, kind of epic. And just to keep it short, we were playing here for about an hour, and they were like playing solo, there, and they were like AFK most of the time. Sometimes they run around. I think they were in the middle of training. Two guys. Two guys. 
I want to leave. And I think I look exactly like this. I have this hat on. I can look like this. But at that point, I have this hat on. This was one of my first experiences with people online, like interacting with me. Um, I remember I get killed and I'm about to run out of this one right here. And he stands right there as a soldier and he looks at me in game and says, Hey, my name. Um, you are not cool. I don't want to be friends with you anymore. And it hurt me like a motherfucker. That hurt me so much, so bad. He just poof, fucking jump it out of there, and I just stood there. I didn't know how to take it, and he didn't leave the sermon. <laughs> um, I think I'm trying to like make this comedic. It wasn't that funny. Like when I arrived, I didn't get my part of my TF2 journey. I'm like, that's probably why some some of my behavior is like that. So back then, there were a few people who wasn't just me. Um, it was the usual suspects. Uh, I didn't play sniper that much. I wasn't much of a aim like back then. Right now, my entire shtick is that I'm a great aim, but back then, I, I wasn't any good. But occasionally, I played a sniper, and that was cool. So, a month after that incident, where the guy just told me he didn't want to be friends with me anymore, um, I played sniper with about 12 other people on the map, and I felt like the biggest, like, in hindsight, I felt like the biggest, like, Test ever. Because people were just like very weird. There was this other guy that on their team who like told me, Hey, I've seen you around before. Of course, uh, this was like my go to after school to be on this map. And he just told me, You wanna have a sniper? And people in the chat were like, Have a sniper to with him. And that was just crazy to me. I was very scared that the same thing would happen. But guess what? Guess who's still in my friends list? It's this guy. He's still here. Anyway, we shot at each other. I lost big time because he was like, I don't know, how many hours does this guy have? He has like, he had like, he has 100,800 hours, I have like only, f almost 500, you can see here because they changed it, that's the story of how I got him as a friend, and you know, but what pissed me off so much about that was, like, now is that people were just like, yeah, have a deal with him, have a deal with him, and then he was just like, the nicest guy ever, and he was like, I like you, and I guess to like counteract the uh, the Danish fucking traitor guy, and that other guy that was with him, but whatever, <laughs> that's it, I guess right now is a good point to like talk about, um, the fact that I don't really, I didn't really want to play this game at all. I, I, yeah, I don't, I have good memories, but I don't know what to say. I, I couldn't bother with this. This was, this video was only the result of me thinking, oh, that's going to be cool if a guy joins. No one has joined and I don't know. I'm probably never gonna touch it again unless I get another like uh, half-assed, half-baked uh, idea that entirely uh, lives on the fact that a person might join. Whatever. That, uh, you know, I always thought these trees were this low quality because of uh, the specs I ran. So back then I ran like the worst uh, possible. Um, resolutions and settings so I could actually play the game on my stupid fucking laptop. I have other games at that point and I 
actually contemplated playing most games instead of, and I should have maybe, because there's more freedom in what I can do. I feel like maybe uh, Mountain Blade Warband was like my favorite game at that time, and that game is like one of the only single player games I almost have a 100 hours in. Like, I leave every single player game whenever I touch it. Stardew Valley, I have never gotten far into it. Terraria, maybe being a boss or two, and then I've, I'd start over, and you know, I do the micro Minecraft thing, which is just to build a house, do all this thing, get diamonds, and then never play it again for like a year, and then return. I really thought that this video I would, I would talk more, like way more than now, and I'd like say something that I couldn't have artificially like uh, set up like a math equation, you know? But it was a math equation that just didn't fully succeed. This is gonna be my first video, I can't believe it. I'm, I'm happy about that. But still, I wish it was a bit more cohesion in this video, I think. Like... But I can't remember anything. I just think I went around and I killed people and sometimes I got killed. And that was about 400 hours of my life doing that on this map of 300. Who the fuck cares? I still like this map. I still do like this. <laughs> I was supposed to play all the characters, but I'm not gonna do that. I have like 40 minutes left and I think in those 40 minutes I can definitely like maybe what I wanted from this video will happen in that space of time and just and I'm just gonna say the reason you're seeing the timer is because I kind of anticipated that nothing would happen you know um, I anticipated that I would just sit here and then I, I hoped I would say something interesting. And I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, I think next time, I'm not gonna do this. I'm going to actually try a bit harder. And in, in the meme whilst... Uh, what the fuck Make is videos, going on? This doofus just got fucking no. confused by... No. The, I'm getting confused. I, sh I should have done this from the beginning, you know? Found interesting positions to spawn from and just then talk. This really reminded me, like, intimately about my exams and how I usually handle that. Right now in my sabbatical. And. Um, where's everybody? Yep, they're not here because they are in university. They are having jobs, they are having girlfriends, they are having their own places, and this is my place. Um, but you know, this is my thinking process every time I'm in these types of exam situations. It's like um, there's an ambiguous, you will be fine in the background, you know? And that makes me warm, that makes me like act wise, not do anything. I played a lot with my cousin back then, and I remember, like, it's, it was exactly like this, you know? At one point, we would spend every vacation together, and at that point, we, we were gamers, but we just didn't have, like, the computers to do so. I know, kid, it's only kids nowadays that have, <laughs> like, oh my god, I want RTX. 4090, but like I didn't have a PlayStation, I didn't have like an Xbox, I didn't have anything. I had like a small humble Nintendo, and it, what do you know? My neighbor fucking destroys my Nintendo. He like looks me straight in the eye. He has it in his hand in my toilet because I have to babysit that motherfucker. He was like two years younger than me, and I'm not saying this in a derogatory sense or anything. 
but he was definitely like mentally he was not there he was but anyway I played with my cousin that's what I said I was trying to say him and his friend um, this was their usual hangouts but my entire stick was that I was good at roasting people which I wasn't we'd play like a, a, an alternative to Hoppo Hotel And I tried to diss people. It wasn't, you know, I didn't roast. Your mama's so fat, but it was, was literally thing. all that I said. I so. just roasted people, but not on this map. No. <laughs> oblivion. I should have done it on Oblivion. But, you know, this video. I want more production value on that thing and more like actually deepening. Like the thing I know this is exactly what this challenge is for you know pure authenticity and how much that like doubles uh, of, like uh, t big math numbers believe me, I'm gonna save but just to keep it short and simple and uh, enticing um, Bolivian was like the first game I pirated and I uh, loved the shit out of it, you know? It could play on my shitty... My, I had two computers. Quotations. My laptop. Sucked ass. And my father's computer, which I was only allowed to use for like... 30 minutes in quotations again. I used it as much as I could and I pulled out the time. I stretched it out. The fuck out of it. Like I remember I'd wake up at like 6 a.m. so happy because oh my god I'm gonna play Oblivion and maybe it's because I'm biased. I I loved it. I loved it. I loved that game so much. I loved the intro of like being in a jail. And this might be because I was either a kid or because oh I am autistic or something. <laughs> I didn't mind how the NPCs talked. <laughs> I didn't think anything of it. At first, I loved Star more than German. I thought German was just a funny guy and whatever. But now, now German is like my favorite guy of all time. And he's gonna retire. And I couldn't care one shit if. He decides to play this game ever again. Honestly, my, my I thought I was gonna love this. No, I didn't. I, I thought I was gonna like it more than I do right now. But as I've al already like said, kind of like I am can't wait for this video to like be finished. I really thought that I had more fun. But time is running out, and I feel like this, like a whole book of thoughts. I, I was like ready to have, like where I had like uh, an idea of what I was gonna say, and now it's just not here anymore. And I, I think I've already said that. <laughs> what? I switched the I and the what the fuck? Anyway, this was. 2000 Where the fuck is that information? 2016 And as you can see, it was on my laptop And I published it But as you can see um, Oh my god, we went that spawn but Next up, this was my friend This was my cousin And this was like Beyond monumental to my eyes at that time, this was like people are gonna love this. Yep. And don't read this. I remember this. I remember this. I was. I'm such a homie. It shows his eyes are dead. That's because I had to get this amount of FPS to like make it survivable for my eyes. I guess I should have spent more time on that. 
if you notice this, he has a Kimbo's head on, just the same. And Kimbo's head is just. Yeah. It's just. Only, only noobs have that on because. Basically, we have two noobs here. He's trying down here, the jail is here, and he's trying to kill him. He's trying to kill him, and he doesn't know of our existence yet, at least. Next picture will show you why I took this picture. Hey, this is the best thing I have ever seen. There was my joke back then that I would misspell half in very simple words. Sometimes I still partake in that joke, still a bit. Anyway, I ended up killing them both. Holy savage. Only two legs. I think this is the best picture. Best defense. Green meat. I think this was one of my friends back then. Two. I don't know. That's why I stopped. You know, I upgraded. I got a, uh, I got a gaming computer with gaming specs, and I played other games. I went into CS:GO um, to play that instead, and I became way more competitive. Um, and I began playing with other friends instead. Funny note about this one friend I had um, that I played Counter Strike with. Uh, he got back banned for cheating and I never suspected it from cheating because I humble bragging I always did way better than him. Anyway he ended up selling fucking marijuana and that was like also I was like kind of the guy who threw him out. He was a very very trashy guy but he was very sweet I got him thrown out, he was like sort of trashy, so he drank alcohol in school in 8th grade with me. I didn't know at that point, the teachers asked me, is this true that you drank this? And I didn't know it was alcohol, it was very like, it was called Bokai. And that's fucking crazy in my opinion. And he got thrown out, obviously he had been in other problems, like King and Dawes and all that, spinning on the floor. And but this was the last straw, you know? And it was mine. And he, he, uh, that motherfucker forgave me, like, the second, the next second you saw me, I think I got thrown out. We played a bit more uh, Counter-Strike, and I sent him a message, because of, as good of a guy he was, like, a genuine good guy who will never really took things out on other people, um, he was, you know, very trashy, anyway, anyway, so, I, like, told him, I don't want to be friends anymore, and, I think it's best if we don't talk anymore, and he understood it, and he just didn't want, want to do, like, homework, he didn't want to do anything, and I felt like it was very destructive towards me, and I had to do all these things, I had to do, I, I di didn't have to do, like, things for him, and I didn't do stuff for him, but, it was just he wanted to play all the time, and there was nothing wrong with that, but, it was just, I don't know, I felt like I would get a change, I'm reviewing my notes. I wrote notes for all the shit. In. Oh my god, three minutes left. What the fuck? That's why we don't play this. There's no one to play with. And the people who still play are like way too skilled for you to even have a chance so you, 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 you're like you're forced to just be friendly and then they kill you anyway at points less than two minutes left what's a good final conversation for this video already in my mind I think, I think like obviously it's it's just gonna be me uninstalling 
Like in the nick of time, you know? Oh! Maybe from the boat. Oh, yes! I can stop right here. This is it, the final in-game composition. Alright. How do we end this? Uh, let's, you know, circle back to the beginning of all those, like, fake... Like, one of them was fake. The corner thing that I did not do. I never stood at corner. Let's do a minute left. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, uh, fuck. Oh no, I'm not a sentimental fucking type of guy. I don't, I don't really don't care about this. I don't care about this game. I would, I would not care about this game. Let's just get that out of the way. Like, I could not care. I'm not gonna play this game again. At all. I would much rather have had like a good computer. No, no, time is running out. Okay. Ah, fuck it, fuck it. We're leaving now. Goodbye. Uh, quickly. Anyone not online? No. Okay. Yes. No. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me. Uninstall. 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 No.